Hello creative designers and welcome on today's story. My name is Peter. And on today's story, we're just going to see how we can be able to a minimum or maximum product that one should buy for a particular product or minimum and maximum quantity uh, one should buy for every product or this is the minimum that should be added so that the, ad to cut, the product can be added to cut. This is just our one of the demo product I've just uh, created. I have set it, the minimum you can order is 5 and the maximum you can order is 10. So if you try like to add like 5, you find it to just get added to the cart. But what if now we just change this and we add 2. You try to add, you see, the value must be greater or equal to 5. What if now I just add something like 11 and you find, you find it had the same error. But when you just say, I just want like 10, if you find that the product has been added to cut. That's how you're going to, that whatever you're just going to learn. Let's just try to change this and I just go to edit the product. And here I have the maximum and I want to add this too. And here I just want to take it to unlimited like that. And once I did that, all I just need to do is I update for the product. And we just start, all I just need to do is I just come here. Let me just first of all move the one we have just added to the cart. And we just start, let's now refresh the, uh, this page again. So I just need now, you can see now the minimum is to here. Whatever I just, whenever you just want to add something like one and try to add cut, it's not very possible. Remember, we were limited to 10 pieces, but now we can be even to add 100 pieces and you find it has been added to cut. It will also work, it will also act uh, the vice versa. You can say that you want to have, you can order the minimum as they want and you can limit the maximum they can order for the quantity. That's the story for today. We're just going to do the WooCommerce snippet. I'm just going to provide on how you can just get the snippet and how you can implement and how you can be able to customize it and it worked for you and it worked to fit your need. That's the tutorial for today. My name is Peter. And if you're new here, consider hitting the thumbs up if you're learning something out of this tutorial. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I and I show you how. So the first thing you just need to do is to get the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, scroll now here where we have the button for the plugin. And on Hofa, we have these three options. Select the second option, add new. We need to install a plugin that will help us to and will facilitate for, for us to be able to add the code. So the plugin is called Code Snippet. It's just a free plugin, but works smart. Here we have it. I have already installed it in my website. So what you just need to do is you just confirm it's called Code Snippet. By Code Snippet Pro. You can see it has more than 600,000 active installation. Last updated just four weeks ago. So you just need to install and activate the plugin. After you have just activated the plugin on the dashboard menu, now we have this button for the snippet. Select all, all snippet. You can decide to remove all these, but you can if you don't know much about them, they offer some guidance on uh, how you can implement maybe a simple CSS, a JavaScript, and uh, all, the, all that. But what you just need to do is just Click add new because we need to add a new snippet that will add the feature on our website. So I just call here. Yeah, I'll just first of all give it a name. I call woo. So here we have it. And I just come here and I have already the code here. I'll just provide the link on the description where you can get the code. So I just need to copy all this code. Once I done it, I just copy. Then I come back here and I paste it like that. Once I've done, I just need to make sure it land uh, everywhere and I save the changes and activate. With that now, we have now been able to add, whenever just now you add a new product, let me just uh, open all products here. Just open it in a new tab. And I just show you whatever you just added. And then I come here back here and I said, uh, I set the snippet. Let me just turn this off here. And I just come to any product and I click to edit. You find it's just a very interesting product and you find we don't have the way we can be able to add maximum or minimum. But now we have added this code. All I just need to do is I toggle this button to make uh, to turn it on and I refresh here on the product. And if I now we have been able to add this quantity setting here and on uh, and uh, on clicking on this uh, clicking here it just opens these features so you can be able to set the minimum and the maximum 
for every product that it work it will also not work for grouped product it will work for variable product and affiliate product uh, it will not also work for variable product it will also only work for external product uh, external or affiliate product and it will also work for simple product like that so what you just need to do is whenever you just adding up new product you just need to just give it a name and all the description but when you just now come to general setting you have now this quantity setting here and on click you can be able to set uh, this minimum and maximum product quantity one can be able to purchase i hope you did learn something out of this tutorial if you did learn something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up and if, if in a, even a question arises just leave it on the comment section i'll answer maybe in the next tutorial that's the tutorial for today my name is peter thank you till next time